Head coach Gina Oriema has said the regional final is the most difficult game of the season. After winning the first three tournament games by an average of about 48 points, UConn got a real challenge from the seventh seeded Dayton Flyers. The Huskies found themselves trailing by one at the half, but second half adjustments allowed this team to take over as they went on to win 91 to 70, a victory that sends this team back to the final four for the eighth straight year. From our standpoint, I think we needed that kind of a game. We needed a game where we were challenged. We needed a game where we had to respond. And these two here, um, you know, they're, they're winners and they're competitors. And whenever they're put in a situation like that, that's what they do. It's really exciting. You know, it, it doesn't change. The feeling doesn't change after your fourth time or your first time. I'm just as excited, and especially with this group of girls and, and the way we played tonight. It's crazy to me. I, I just said that to someone. I said it's kind of surreal. I was doing the happy dance inside, but, you know, I mean, I'm nothing but excited and more games to come. It's great. Um, it's way better than last year, sitting and watching. Um, and it was fun last year. You know, my teammates made it fun. They made me feel included, things like that. But to be out there and actually making a difference in the game and helping our team on the court, it feels great. This is so important, and we're so excited for, for our freshmen and for the guys that are doing it for the first time, and even for us. You know, we don't take any of this lightly or for granted at all, but I think we just have a bigger goal in mind. It's, it's a great feeling. It's we know that this is our standard every single year, but you know to actually accomplish it is what we've been working for since since October, and you know now we're actually going to Tampa. Well, I'm excited. You know I want to go out with a bang, like I've always said. And yeah, this is another Final Four, but you know teams don't experience this a lot, and I think UConn is pretty spoiled uh, because we make it so far. But again, you know, we put in so much work. So yeah, we're excited. We're not going to cut the nets, but that trophy still means a lot, and it's something that you never forget. I know everyone on this team is going to remember this game for the rest of their lives. This is what you play basketball for. You don't play basketball for the blowout games. You play for the competitiveness. So I think that's why we end up having fun. Every game from here on out is a dogfight, and you have to be able to prove yourself. And I think we did that in this game. So now we go into another close game that we'll be confident that we can come out with the win. And Coach Oriema is constantly impressed with how well his teams perform in March. On Monday night, Brianna Stewart grabbed a career-high 16 rebounds, and she and Morgan Tuck both had 23 points. But it was senior Kalina Mosqueda lewis who led the team with 27 points, including seven three-pointers as she broke the NCAA all-time three-point record. It's incredible. She's such a great teammate on and off the court, and I mean, she's an amazing shooter. It's so much fun to watch that, um, but for her to get the record, it's just I'm nothing but happy for her. I think I'll have a, a time to digest it on the, the hour and a half bus ride we have back home to Connecticut, but uh, I'm just really excited and, and really proud of all my teammates. She got it in a game where we needed them. We needed those threes, and, and she really stepped up and made them. She's incredible. Boy. You know, me and her had this deal going that every accomplishment I get, I share with her, and everyone she gets, she shares with me. So, you know, I got the blocks record, so actually me and her share that. So now she gets this threes record, and actually me and her share that also. <laughs> she got the record. She doesn't have to worry about it anymore. You know, we're going to Tampa, focused on, on one thing and one thing alone. UConn will meet Maryland in the national semifinal game Sunday in Tampa Bay. As always, UConnHuskies.com will have you covered throughout the entire week as UConn looks for title number 10. Reporting at the Times Union Center in Albany for Huskies All Access, I'm Erica Walker.